so, which are the airline seats that you just must avoid? The thing is, you can't change your flight once you're on the plane, but you can certainly choose a seat that makes your journey much smoother. Stick around because we're about to discuss the worst seats you should avoid and the best ones to aim for on your next trip. Hello everyone and welcome back to Infinite Altitudes. Please subscribe to our channel for exciting content on aviation. Let's face it, first and business classes are the dream. They're like those fancy cars you see but might never drive. Here, you can enjoy spacious seats, gourmet food, and beds that let you stretch out like you're at home. But if you're like most of us, you'll be in economy, where space is tight and comfort is harder to find. Don't worry, though. Even in economy, there are ways to make your flight more enjoyable if you know which seats to pick or which ones to avoid. Sitting close to the restroom might seem convenient, but it's a trade-off you probably don't want to make. You'll deal with people constantly queuing up or walking by, sound of flushing, and sometimes unpleasant smells. Plus, the light from the bathroom door can keep waking you up when someone uses it at night. The last row might seem like a good idea if you want to avoid other passengers kicking your seat, but it comes with major drawbacks. These seats often don't recline, leaving you stuck in an upright position for the entire flight. You will also be near the noise from the galley and have to wait longer to get off the plane. Also, the back of the plane feels turbulence more, making your flight less smooth. If you are still watching this video, we hope you will hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. If you're sitting at the end of a section, you're in for a rough ride. These seats are often near bathrooms or galleys, so expect noise and lots of people walking by. Exit row seats might seem appealing because of the extra leg room, but on the other hand, in an emergency, you'll have serious responsibilities. And these seats might be narrower because of the tray table in the armrest. Also, some of these seats don't recline, so you'll be stuck sitting upright for the whole flight. Bulkhead seats are right behind a wall or divider, offering more leg room and no one reclining into your space. However, you won't have underseat storage for your bags, and these seats are often reserved for families with babies, meaning you could be near a crying infant. Before we move to seats that you might prefer, we hope you will hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Drop a comment below. We would also love to hear from you. Now that you know which seats to avoid, let's talk about the seats that could make your flight more comfortable. Aisle seats are great if you like stretching your legs and getting up without bothering others, but you'll be more exposed to foot traffic and might get bumped by the drink cart or passengers, not to mention that you would have to get up every time your co-passenger wanted to use the bathroom. Window seats are perfect if you love looking out at the clouds or want a spot to rest your head. You won't be disturbed by others, but if you need to get up, you'll have to ask your seatmates to move. Middle seats aren't really popular since you're squeezed between two people, making it hard to move or get comfortable. However, if you're with friends or family, sitting in the middle keeps you close to them. Still, most people try to avoid these seats. Also, if you get sick easily or want a smoother ride, seats over the wings are the best choice. This part of the plane is more stable, so you'll feel less turbulence. It's a good choice for a calmer flight. Some airlines, like American Airlines and United Airlines, often have economy seats with limited legroom. So, for more comfort, try flying with Southwest Airlines or JetBlue Airways, as they offer more legroom in their economy seats. On the other hand, Frontier Airlines and Spirit Airlines are known for having less legroom. That's all for today, folks. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to leave a comment below and subscribe to the channel for more updates.